What is inferred from the Holy Quran is that the appearance of the Mahdi is a link in the series of fights between the righteous and the weak and the Mahdi is a symbol of the final and complete victory of the righteous and the faithful. The Holy Quran says Allah has promised the righteously striving believers to appoint them as his deputies on earth as he had appointed those who live before them. He will make the religion that he has chosen for them to stand supreme. He will replace their fear with peace and security. They will worship their Lord without fear and will not submit to anyone other than him and will associate nothing with his worship and obedience. Surah Al Nur, verse 55. The appearance of Mahdi is Allah's favor for the oppressed and the weak, and as a means of their coming to power and gaining the promised divine succession in the whole world. The Holy Quran says, We have decided to grant favor to the suppressed swans by appointing them leaders and heirs of the earth. Surah al qasas verse 5. appearance of the Mahdi means the realization of the promise Allah made to the righteous in his sacred book. Verily we have written in the Psalms after the Torah hath been revealed, my righteous servants shall inherit the earth. Surah Al-Anbiya verse 105. The well-known saying of the Holy Prophet that Allah will fill the earth with justice after its having been filled with injustice and tyranny testifies to the fact that at the time of the appearance of the Mahdi 
there will exist two classes. One will consist of the oppressors and the other, also a small, of the oppressed, who are subjected to injustice and the and tyranny. Sheikh Sadu narrates on the authority of Imam Jafar ibn Muhammad as sadiq that the Mahdi would appear only when the virtuous would become the most virtuous and the wicked the most wicked. From this also it is evident that both the virtuous and the wicked will be in existence. Islamic traditions make mentions of a group of people who will come forward and join Imam Mahdi immediately on his appearance. From this again, it is evident that the virtuous will not be completely wiped out, and though their number may be insignificant, yet they will be best in the quality of faith and comparable to the companions of Imam Hussein ibn Ali. According to Islamic traditions, the rising of the Mahdi will be preceded by other risings of the virtuous. What has been mentioned as the Yamanis rising is an instance. In some Islamic traditions, a mention has been made of a government of the righteous people, which will continue to exist till the rising of the Mahdi, may Allah hasten his solace. And as we know, some Shia ulama who held good opinions about some of their contemporary Shia governments considered it probable that it will be those very governments which would last till the rising of the Mahdi. It is gathered from the various Quranic verses and traditions taken together that rising of the promised Mahdi will be the last one of the chain of the battles which have taken place between truth and falsehood since the creation of the world. The promised Mahdi will realize the ideal of all the prophets, saints, and fighters in the path of truth. <laughs> 